Hey, greetings, all of you. This one is just for the viewers and all who prayed, praised, and thanked me. In words, in physical words and songs, which I heard physically even after I'm out of Samadhi. I just want to thank you. I'm, I'm very touched still. There was some days ago, and the sheer number of you who participated in it really shocked me. There was, if the information is correct, from the gods who take care of the population of this planet, the number was 3.8 plus billions of world citizens. I wish the whole world citizens would know that, would see the talk that I made and the ad as the latest fly news. But still, this sheer number is really a shocking to me. It's really a shock to me. I I'm still, you know, <laughs> struggling for words to thank you and to express my appreciation, hope, and surprised happiness. Still, we, you, I, should all thank God, the Almighty, the real, compassionate, merciful God, for any peace and happiness that happened in our lives daily. I am thanking Him, and He is a doer. He is everything. I should say, has is everything, <laughs> because that means he and she. <laughs> we cannot determine that God is just a he. God is all. God is everything, the real God. And we also have to thank all the masters, past, present, and perhaps the future also, for lending us some hands. We thank also all the saints and sages in our time, in heavens, on earth, as well as elsewhere in the universe for helping us to establish peace and a vegan world, to make this world such a paradise for all of us to enjoy, carefree, liberated and happy, now and hereafter. We can be humans, but we should not be in suffering in agony, at war, with each other and with other beings, because these cause us too much burden, too much worry, too much suffering, which we don't deserve. You should not thank me or praise me at all. I'm just a very humble part of the instrument that makes peace or a vegan world possible, if it's possible. I'm still struggling, fighting for it. And if you really thank me and appreciate my effort or my reminder talk at all, then please just do likewise. That will help tremendously. First of all, yourself, your family, your country, and any things that you love, anyone that you love, any of your friends, your pet people, you know, your business, your property, your happiness, everything that you ever wish for, boils down to the way you conduct your life. It's not much really, just be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, meaning helping others who are in need. That's all we have to do really. And we still need to thank God that we are enabled to do that, that we are having the privilege the honor, the strength to do all that. Just three things. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. Thanking God and praising heavens every day. We also have to thank the King of Peace. If any peace or any vegan success for our world, that's due to God Almighty, to all the gods, good gods in heaven, all the masters, all the saints and sages, as well as the King of Peace and the King of Veganism. Please thank them all for me, 
I'm thanking them every day. I'm still waiting for the result to come. I have been also talking to God, and I have told God that the humans need help. The humans are not alone at fault. Whoever created this world in such a chaotic fashion or facilitated for all this chaos to happen is the one to be blamed. I have been arguing with God about that. I said, if whoever that is could create things but could not fix things, then he, she should resign from the heaven hierarchy order. I don't accept all the sins we blame on humans. I don't accept. I said, I don't accept that. I blame the one who created all this chaos, all this temptation, all these traps and tricks to make humans poor. Because in this physical world, it's very difficult to keep being holy and not to fall. I have used all possible words to argue with God. And I confess, I was screaming at this so-called creator and told him or her to get lost. If you cannot fix it, then just get lost. Let us humans be. I know, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I did. But I did that, not just one time. It's not the first time. I did that before. Several times, whenever I'm filled to the brim with frustration, whenever I'm filled overwhelmingly by the suffering of humans and animals, people. So please help me. Please help me. Just to be vegan and make peace. And if you can, help others. Others doesn't mean only humans, animals, people, trees, plants. Protect them. Preserve them wherever you can. Because they are good for our world. They're good for you, good for the planet, and good for me. Please help me, and I will appreciate it. More than that, you sing songs and thank me that even reached my physical ears. I was so astounded that even human songs, I don't mean my own, you know, initiates, disciples, or my so-called association members. I mean you, the people out there, the people who happen to have heard or seen the fly news that they have aired on Supreme Master Television. I hope my talk to my people and also some part of it for you, the viewers. I mean, in this physical world, it's difficult even for me to hear the messages from heavens, even though I hear them, I copy them, I take the messages every day, almost every day, but still many are lost because I am too busy. I have too much work to do, too much physical work to do, and also inside work to do. I have heaven's work, hell's work, and earth's work. And I don't demand you sacrifice anything. Just put down that piece of meat. It's not a lot. And make peace with each other, because that's how we live. If we want peace, we have to make peace. I'm going to tell you something. You might think I'm boasting, but it's not. I just want to tell you that I also sacrifice if you call my request a sacrifice then I also sacrifice a lot. First of all, you know I'm vegan, yes? I've lost a lot of financial assets and cash. My bank has been blocked by some of the uh, those entities for no reason at all. 
but I can't just go out there, go to the court, sue them and take my money back. Okay, I just let it be. I mean, several of millions of my money, completely my money, honestly earned money. I take the five precepts, one of them, it's not stealing. So it's all my money, I earned, I made it by different means, okay? Maybe artistic-wise or selling things, but never mind about that. I'm just telling you so that you know. So right now I have just uh, maybe a couple of ten <laughs> of thousands in my hands, just in case I have to go out. But I'm not even allowed to go out. I have to be in one place to do retreat. Uh, not only not allowed to go out shopping or anywhere, not even allowed to go out on the street just for some fresh air. But now and then I sneak out risking a penalty for taking some photographs just nearby. I can't go very far, maybe a few hundred meters, that's all, just to take photographs, nothing else and run fast back home, whatever I want. Even peace and vegan, it's not mine. It's for you, I still need to pay. My money was stolen also. All my savings were stolen. So I have very little money left now. I can't buy any house. I can't do anything. I cannot travel. I can't even go out to the restaurant to enjoy just one free meal that's just ready there and served for me. I can't even go shopping to buy what I need, what I like. I have to rely on others, online stuff. I can't even have any of my so-called residents helpers around because there will be a kind of distraction for my work as well. And then I will have to tend to their mood, human's mood, uh, human's temperament, human's desire, human's personality, oh, whatever, you know it, you know it. You have families, you know, you have friends, you know, you have husbands and wives, children, you know it. I have been doing that, just like you do. Even though I am not married like you, or having children like you, but I need to deal with many people. My family was big, is still big. I used to live with them before, with other residents. It's like a family, and you know what it's like dealing with so many people and living with them even day in, day out. But I was younger. I had more energy and less work. Now I have tremendously more work to do, inside and outside. I'm just talking as I'm remembering. There may be no order of this type or that category or anything, so please bear with it. Ah, what else? Yeah, I also have to sacrifice a lot. I can't have my birth people, which I love so much. Many years, I could not see them already. And I can't even see my dog people, whom I love so dearly. Now and then I can communicate with them through telepathy, not all the time. And I miss them so much, and they also miss me. But I told them that I cannot see them, and they understood. They understood. But that doesn't mean we don't miss each other so much. Sometimes I cry alone. Uh, I cry alone. I work alone. Because I don't think anyone on this planet would understand what I'm doing, what, uh, what I'm feeling, anything at all about me. But I'm not for myself anymore. I don't work for myself. I don't ask anything for me. All I ask is that I can be strong enough to work for God's will, to save as many souls as possible who have been entrapped, who have been poisoned into losing their minds, their logic, their understanding, and their holy disposition. I feel so sorry for all of you as much as I feel sorry for all the suffering physically that you and the animals endure to no end. Every day I have to work with it. I have to see human suffering. 
and the suffering of the animals everywhere in the news and the shows that we make. I have to supply them with some of that as well. I have to supply them also with all these news so that they can incorporate it into shows for you to be informed about the reality of war, the reality of animals, people, slaughterhouse, suffering, and the reality of all that affects our planet's temperature and causes so much damage, suffering everywhere in the world. Every day you open the news, you will see at least some suffering from disasters, from war, from hunger, from animal people that agonize in the slaughterhouse or elsewhere. And also, by the way, according to the latest news, there are many diseases coming up from ancient times even, and also the new COVID variant spreading all over. So please, take care of yourselves. Be careful when you go out or interact with others. Please wear masks. That's the least we can do. I know wearing masks is not my favorite either, and it's a nuisance, but please, your life is important. The longer you live, the better, so that you can maybe by chance change your heart, become vegan, or find an enlightened teacher somewhere that rescues your soul. If you don't like how the mask feels, please bear it. Because just think of the doctors, the nurses, and many other professionals who have to wear masks all day, every day of their life for their work. So please bear it for your own sake and the sake of your family. May God protect you. There's nothing that is made for us to be easy in our lives and to easily remember God and heavens and our real identity as the children of God, as holy beings descended from heaven originally to help develop, uplift the atmosphere of this planet. It's not easy. So I have been blaming the Creator for not doing a good job. I could be wrong. I could be punished and go to hell for yelling, scolding, cursing the creating God of this world. But I need to tell the truth. I need to defend humans and animals, people and all beings who are innocent, who are weakened in this physical world and who are trapped, tempted and cheated in many ways to fall. And then get all the blame for it, go to hell for it, and suffering even more than in the physical life, in hell. I said I cannot bear it. This is very unjustified. It's a great injustice. It has to be remedied. It has to change. The system must change. The system is all wrong. You cannot just blame the governments, even the war mongols. We have to blame the whole bad system not well-organized system, not logical system. In my opinion, it is like that. I said, punish me if you want. You might have the power to do that, but you can't stop me from telling you the truth and defending humans and all beings on this earth. Well, I don't want to repeat to you what I have told them in those conversations with the Creator and God, because it was not the way you imagine. I spared no words. I spared no terms, however rude, however really low-grade terminology to address the system of this planet and the physical world. It was not pretty, the words I used. All the words I used were not pretty, not polite, not what a lady should use, not for you to hear. I'm just telling you that, so that you know why I don't tell you. But you can be assured that I did not mince my words, not even for a lady. 
because I was so anguished seeing the human suffering in war, in famine, in torturing chambers. Same with the animal people everywhere as well. And for all the innocent trees that have been cut down just for any reason or no reason, just for commercial, just for gain, regardless of the survival of the whole human race and the torturing of millions of animal people, including the just innocent animal people swimming in the sea. Millions every minute. We, as the children of God, as the race of noble beings from heaven, should never fall so deep into such a degrading status, all because of temptation from the negative power in this world. And I blame the Creator for allowing the negativity to rule this planet, to hurt humans, animals, people, and all other beings by their temptation, by their traps, by their tricks, by their dirty tricks, by their lowly behavior and ruthless kind of manner in which they coerce humans, they seduce humans into doing wrong. And that affects also the animal kingdom and other kingdoms as well. I was angry, really angry. Oh, I told you I'm an angry master for many reasons. You imagine that the masters were all kind or sweet and gentle talk and all that. No, I am not. I am a very angry master when it comes to other beings suffering in an unjustified way. I get very angry. I'm angry also because they don't take me as a hostage and free everyone else. They don't accept this proposal. I'm angry with many, many things that this world has been created to torture humans, animal people and all other beings, visible beings like us or invisible beings as well. And in hell too, of course. I don't want to accept the human sin. Human souls are pure and clean. It's just in the physical body, they are trapped. They don't know what to do. They are confused and vulnerable and weakened by all kinds of bad influence from the negative power. I'm angry with that. I'm anguished as well. So when I really am angry and talk to God or to the Creator, not God Almighty, of course not, then I mean no words. And I never feel sorry about that. And I never say sorry to them. I say, fix it or get lost. Or I will find a way to banish you forever from this earth so the humans and other beings will be free. <sighs> well, I don't know what else to tell you, actually. I just want to say that I have heard your prayers I have heard your songs of praise, and I know some way or another you suffer every day, some small time, some big time, and I'm sorry for that. But please just thank God, praise God, God Almighty. Thanks to all the masters who helped. Thanks to the God of peace and the God of vegan who helped us tremendously, and even thank the zealous demons for changing their minds, changing their hearts, and turning around to be with us instead of against us or harming us. I thank all who are vegans, who are helping vegans, who are helping the animal people and any humans in need, including the unborn, by not supporting abortion, by going against abortion, saving the innocent lives. Otherwise, we will have only an elderly generation, and no one will help to build our nations, our planet. I thank all of you, whoever helps my mission in any way, whoever remembers God, Thanks, God, every day or any time you can. I thank all of you, whether or not I know you or do not know you, 
whether you are visible beings or invisible beings that I might have forgotten to mention. I didn't do that on purpose. I just had too many things to do. I thank you all of you anyway, herewith, officially, openly, with all my heart. Please help humans. <laughs> you don't have to help me in any way. <laughs> Even if you see me in hell, don't care. Just please help all of them. They're helpless because if they hurt, I am hurt too. So if you help them, meaning you help me, I'm thanking you. <laughs> Please, may God bless all of you with everything you need and all your good wishes come true. I love you all, visible and invisible beings. May the Almighty always protect you, bless you, and show you love in any way. Ah. Now, of course, I also thank my team members who are very, very talented and thank all of them who work outside of the in-house team and, you know, remote team members as well. It is a tremendous organized system that brings onto the screen are the best possible to offer humans some reminder of this wonderful, beautiful planet and that goodness is still everywhere in the world for us to emulate, to spread out, to act upon, to help one another, whether humans or non-humans. It is a tremendous work, the Supreme Master Television. All my team members, they are excellent. They make mistakes sometimes, of course, but that's why I have to be there for them, to correct, to guide them, to assist them in any way possible. It's not <laughs> saying that. I don't mean it is an easy job for me either, but of course it's one of the sacrifices that I have to make. And I'm telling you that so that you know I don't just demand you to sacrifice. I do sacrifice also a lot with you because we are together. We are a team, humans team. We have to help others, you know, the weaker ones, like the victims of war, the victims of you don't have to follow me, be my disciple or anything. It's not the point of my talk. Find any other master if you believe in him or her. But do find some enlightened way to understand more about God's will, about the law of the universe, so that you can survive here, you can live here comfortably, beautifully, happily, and unburdened. Please, please. We could have a beautiful life, happy life, our children also. Well, just to start with, be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. Anything else is up to you to decide. I love you, I love all of you, and I thank you for your songs and your prayers and your gratitude which reached me, physically even from all over the planet. I was very touched. I still am touched. I thank you again and again. But please, just be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. That's how you thank me, if you do have thanks for me at all. Otherwise, please, anyway, just thank the Almighty. Thank the saints and sages again. Thank all the spiritual practitioners. Thank all the vegans who make the world different a better world. Thank whomever you think is worthy of. I thank you. Me, I'm thanking you for helping to make this a paradise of peace and vegan. 
God bless you all. God loves you. God protect you. God grace you with all your noble good wishes. Thank you again. Bye for now.